You can palm a full-size basketball. It looks like a mini basketball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the can of, Look at the can of Coke. In 1963, the Dabe family welcomed their son Jeff to the world. He was a healthy boy, but there was something about him that was impossible to ignore. Baby Jeff had enormous hands. So like as a baby, yes. you came out and your parents were like, oh, he's got really big hands and yep. arms. Doctors were perplexed by his massive arms and hands, but Jeff had no medical condition that could explain it. Well, I went to a bunch of doctors and they did a bunch of tests and they never really come up with any conclusions. As he grew older, Jeff used his natural advantage to join his high school wrestling team. But it wasn't until his coach brought the team to a charity event that Jeff found his real passion, arm wrestling. I beat all the kids, and plus I beat all the adults. Uh, I just kind of got hooked into it, and they talked me into coming and started going to tournaments. He was nicknamed Popeye due to his sheer strength and the size of his hands. However, in 1986, his career faced a setback when he injured his right elbow. Jeff had to take a break from professional arm wrestling and instead focused on working on his family farm. He met his wife Gina and the two had three children together. For the longest time I didn't have a ring, I just had a tattoo because I couldn't find anyone to make it. Jeff's wedding ring is so large it can be worn by his wife as a bracelet. It would be another 25 years before he returned to the arm wrestling scene, this time competing with his left hand. I wasn't sure about getting back into it at 48, but they ended up talking me into it and I ended up winning, so it's, I was drawn right back into it again. Because his left arm isn't his dominant arm, he has to train several times a week to strengthen it. Since his comeback, Jeff has won state and national arm wrestling titles. So I'm kind of from everywhere. I mean, Mississippi, UAL again. Favorite? It's probably this one. He also competes in international tournaments accompanied by his wife, Gina. Jeff, you're world <laughs> champion. Today, Jeff is a star on social media, drawing viewers who are amazed by the size of his hands. Are, are there challenges from having such large hands? The hardest part is just finding clothes to fit right. Growing up, I just learned not to wear gloves. How's texting? I can do it. I'm yeah. a, I have a flip phone that I use. It's just easier to text on this <laughs> instead of like the iPad. Oh, for sure. Yeah. There's sure. a little... That okay. makes sense. Even though I got to hit the numbers a couple of times, it's just easier. And despite going by the nickname Popeye, Jeff sees himself as a more recent cartoon character, Wreck-It Ralph. I'm gonna wreck it! Wreck is gonna get wrecked by Wreck-It Ralph today. He's even dressed up as him for competitions to entertain kids. A lot of people say I'm a superhero or maybe a legend. I guess I, I don't feel that way, but if it's portrayed that way, I guess I'm honored to have that. 